do the implants, always the term comes osseointegration. And now in the rough surface implants or the implants, whatever the knowledge we have, it is like that. If the radiolucency is there around the implant, it is called periimplantitis. Agreed? Then the bone loss is there, then the implants is going to be mobile. Agreed? And then you cannot do anything of the implant. A standard protocol is you have to remove the implant, wait for six weeks, and then or, or for or six weeks or eight weeks, and then you can carry on with the re implant replacement by the other implant. Okay. Why? Because first of all, when we think about the implants, implants are like for us a rough surface implants are there. When the rough surface is there, it is very hard to clean the rough surface. Because when the rough surface is there and the bone loss has occurred and when the implant is short, when the implant is not too long to engage the basal bone, what yesterday Professor Ide had mentioned, then the bone loss will occur. And when the bone loss will occur, the seepage of infection will be there of microorganisms infected microorganisms and the total bone like it will be a radiolucency or detachment of the bone from the implant all over the bone surface and when the implant become mobile patient will have pain while eating and then you have to take it out and you cannot cure it you know why because the rough surface is very hard to treat it there are methods are there I tried it myself also I tried in one case, I, I, I was not, uh, I, was not uh, I didn't have any success in two stage implant. Then I have used a laser also, I have used the high 35 percent phosphoric acid also to clean up the surface and did the augmentation, but uh, for me actually the success did not happen. But in most of the uh, like the experience they tell like out of 10 of the cases, two or three times they are having success in regaining the bone. But it is only when the implant is not mobile. But if the implant is mobile, there is only one rule is there, you have to take out the implant. Now we are coming to the basal implant logic. This is only possible with the smooth surface implant. That in smooth surface implant, when the implant is mobile, the pain is not there, discomfort is there, the term is called sterile loosening. Why is sterile loosening? Implants got detached from the bone. It is not actually detached from the bone. The term is called microcrax. I will come to point. I will come step by step. So this is one of the case I did. And I think this is globally what happened. Like most of the patient having done the implant operation, they vanish away, especially in the basal implant logic. Immediate function loading means immediate cash, immediate implant placement, immediate smile and immediate running away. Then we tell about the patient that you have to follow, uh, you have to do a follow up procedures, but always they are having problems, they are having excuses like their grandma was ill or they were flying back actually business meeting blah blah blah. But when something bad happens actually, something problem is there in the implants then they are not bothered actually what your schedule is there, what your appointments are there. You will find out morning that patient will be sitting in front of you. So this is one of the case. Like this implant was done, lower with the two BOI implants and with the four BCS implant. So you can say actually this is like the pattern I was following some, this pattern like three years back, you know, this is what I was doing. And then I told the patient, you know, you have to actually change for the upper processes. As usual, patient is not complying. So we have to just trim out the occlusion surfaces and make a good occlusion plane. But you see the radiolucency. It's a big radiolucency is there. The implant was mobile. And after a year, I did something using common sense. And see actually, again, the bone has grown. And the implant is again re integrated. So, how, what is the basic has happened? This is post op.